In this video, I'm gonna explain what Streamlabs Prime is and if it's worth it. My name is Tree, and I make streaming support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. to 3 p.m. time on twitch.tv slash Tree. Feel free to ask anything about streaming there in my streams. I want to start out with saying that this video is sponsored by Streamlabs, but everything in here is my own opinion. The only thing they asked is that I would make a video about Prime, I could just fill it in myself. So let's start off by checking what Prime can actually do. So here on the website says build your online brand. If we scroll down we see customized stream with pro teams, multiple platforms, so this is multi-streaming, uh, what we have as well here. 48 apps like pretzels where you have copyright free music we've got overlays we've got different merch so you get a lot more merch variations we can make our own twitch panels on the mobile app you don't see an icon i'm all going further into this in a second don't worry you get gold ulcer status you get a custom custom cloud pod streamless app teams and extra file storage. Let's start out with the ones that are most obvious, which is like extra file storage here. Extra file storage is just, you can upload more files to Streamlabs. So you can use more files in your cloud bot and just store more of them. Pretty straightforward, I would say. Then we have custom cloud bot. This is if you use the cloud bot on the website of Streamlabs, you can actually use a custom bot name. So for example, my bot is called TreeBot and you can connect that with Streamlabs to make your bot called TreeBot instead of Streamlabs. You can make your bot call almost everything as long as it's not taken yet. So what about the gold Ulster status? What is that? So here we go to the Ulster page. Uh, right now you don't see that I have that and you don't see the Prime things unlocked. I think it's probably because they unlocked Prime for me. So thank you so much Streamlabs for giving me Prime so I can try everything out. Uh, but for you, if you take Prime, this will be all unlocked and you will be at least gold status here. And what you can get is a t-shirt, you can get multi-stream. These are like the perks of being Prime member. And then you have some extra perks here for people uh, that reach higher levels as well. So I believe that like cash rewards is something for like a higher tier all-star. But you will unlock the instantly gold all-star status already if you subscribe with Prime. I don't want to be unclear, so I want to make sure that you guys understand that it's uh, Streamlabs Prime and not Twitch Prime. That's something different. So this is basically what they mean with All-Stars. You can find it here on the Grove All-Stars on their website. Let's go back here and see what, what else was in here. Mobile app. So basically, if you want to stream from your phone, you just download the Streamlabs app. You can have your alerts and everything on your phone while you're streaming. But normally, if you don't have Prime, you'll see the Streamlabs logo constantly in your stream. They will remove that completely if you have Prime. So you won't see that Streamlabs logo when you're streaming from your phone. Then we have Streamlabs app teams. Change the team of Streamlabs OBS. So what we do is we go to Streamlabs OBS and then here on the need, is a cockwheel. We click on that one. It's very tiny, but we click on it. <laughs> then here we go to appearances. The top right you see team. Now it's on night team. You can also have it on day team. But with Prime, you get Obsidian uh, Prime and All Buster Prime. So we can click on that and we can see it looks a little bit different. This is what you get with Prime as well. That's what they mean. Then we have panel library here. What we can do is we can go to their website and click on Twitch panels here. And we can choose either one of these. There's a lot of them because there's multiple pages here and we can even customize them. So uh, for example, which one is nice? Uh, we've got this Val Valorant one here. So we click on the Valorant one and we can change the color. So there's like a color picker. Now it's all red, now it's all white, now it's black. We can have the font color be changed. We can change the font size to be bigger. It doesn't fit like this. I wouldn't do that. You can make it super strong. <laughs> I would recommend you that make it readable. <laughs> font size for uh, from the icon. You can change the icon to whatever we want. PayPal, WhatsApp. I, why would anybody put their WhatsApp underneath their profile? Bad idea, but you can do it if you want. <laughs> that's literally the worst idea ever. But at least they have the icons for it, so that's great. So like you see, you can change everything about these panels and totally customize them. You can make a pack all at once, so you can make them kind of like the same. Uh, here's a tip, here's a YouTube, Instagram. You can change them all at the same time. You can add them easily and then here's the button download panels and it will just download them to your PC and you can upload them on your Twitch, which is very easy. 
Okay, let's go back up and we had the merch option. We're going back to the website because this is kind of where everything is, either on the website or on Streamlabs OBS. So we're going to the merch option here on the featured. And now you guys are getting a sneak preview of my new merchandise. I didn't actually want to tell you guys yet, but you know, I guess you guys know right now. Surprise! <laughs> I made stream smarter, not harder merchandise. You might or might not be already able to get it on on my website, but just don't tell anybody yet, okay? This is just our secret here on YouTube. So what we can do is we can add an item here. And as you see, there's a lot of items, but not all of them are prime only. If you take this prime only, you can see that all these things that we see here are only gonna be there for people with prime. There is also closing and everything. And hats, for example, this 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 hat. I need that for my other stream, actually. We need this hat. <laughs> Cause that's called well headed. It's it's a Dutch word joke. For everybody who speaks Dutch, it's called Hootkermus, which just makes sense with a hat. But yeah, you can actually upload your own merch. Just upload a picture, it will put it on here, and you can choose a lot more than normal. So all these things that you see here, wait, if we do prime only, all these things here. So the bigger mouse pad, the backpack, the um the mask. We've got this uh, fanny pack, apparently they called it. I didn't know how they were called, but apparently they're called fanny packs. The slippers, the flip-flops, the socks, like all that is just Prime only. You can have merch on Streamlabs if you don't have Prime. A lot of things on here are Prime only, probably just because they're more expensive to make and, you know, they don't want to make them for everybody, but only the ones that have Prime. You kind of like the, the VIP club, you know? And there's like a lot of things in here, like literally, if you gotta have to use everything of this, like even shoes, books, like, like whatever you can think of, <laughs> they have merch, like they're a bean bag, it's a chair, it's literally a chair. So for the merch is mostly just a lot of different items. You can have the standard shirt and mock if you have, uh, if you don't have prime. But you know, the, the cool stuff is kind of there where you have Prime. Talking about mugs, thank you so much for sending me this mug stream. Notes. It is so, so, so cute. I just drunk tea in it, so it's kind of dirty right now. So I need to clean it. But, but it was a good mug to drink out of. <laughs> it is so cute. Create your website. Your website, your brand. Okay, this one is interesting, guys. I've been messing a bit with this. We're going to the website here. And then click on website. I've been messing a little bit with this. Uh, Part of me looks a little bit ugly right now because I've tried putting my custom designs in and I'm just a bad designer. That's what I'm saying. I designed this to be looking bad. Um, there's also some center things which we might need to grab real quick just because it looks really ugly at the moment because I made it ugly. <laughs> Let's grab something center real quick. Choose team. Um, that will probably make it look a lot better. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. That looks a lot better. Um, so what, what I've done is I, I, I chose a standard team because, you know, I can't design. And, you know, if you can't design either, you can just pick one of the teams. <laughs> Very easy. And right here we have our live stream uh, donation thing. This is literally a website. This is this is a website. Uh, you can type something about you, have your logo here. But there's a lot of things you can put in here. It says contacts here. You can put a Discord in here. Like that's like a little thing where they can join your Discord. Um, you can see all your commands, your loyalty. They have a leaderboard here as well for donations. Uh, images, so you can have um, fan art on your website. You can have your merch on your website. So for example, if you click on the plus here and then do that and then drag our merch in, you can see this is our merch and people can order it from your website. You can you can add like YouTube in here. I'm just, you can you can even make these things smaller and have a YouTube video in here, which Probably would be a good idea for my website, to be honest, you know, guys, that's what I do. <laughs> you can have a reel with YouTube videos like this one, which is crazy. And you have a contact form, like there's the, your Twitter feed, your, your Twitch panels. There's so many options to put in your website and it's so easy to set up because you just click on the plus, click on one of these and then drag your social reach in, drag your Twitch panel in. Um, you need to click on the cock wheel for the Twitch panel to actually select the Twitch panel, but <laughs> there we go <laughs> i imported it one um what can we say um our twitter feed in here as well boom 
Like that's literally how easy it is to set up. And you know what the coolest part is? Cause you guys don't even know the coolest part yet. What I did is I went back here and click on domain. Here, you can get your own domain. You can get your own domain. My domain is tree.tv. My website now is tree.tv. Like it, it works. It, it just, you know, it takes a couple of hours or sometimes minutes for me. I think it costed like 10 minutes for, for them to claim my domain to actually be working. So it doesn't immediately work, but it works like almost immediately. <laughs> it is so crazy. So now like, like I said, I, I can't design it. It looks really ugly right now, but we're going to it anyway. There we go. Um, yeah, don't mind, don't mind my ugly designing. Like, seriously, you can make this so much more pretty, but I was just trying things out. <laughs> Let's say that it didn't really work out to try things out for me. But um, yeah, shout out to everybody who made my, uh, my fan art though. Thank you. <laughs> they are way better designers than me. So th this is literally true.tv. You can go to it right now and you can see that it actually works, that it's actually a thing. But like I said, you can make it whatever. This looks way better already, you know? Like I just picked a random team that we can use. There's so many more. You can you can even make a Fall Guys website. You can, you, you go, you go, you do what you want. We can set a custom email. So for me, uh, if people email to info at tree.tv, an email will be sent to tree on Twitch at gmail.com. So people can actually email to info at tree.tv. Please do only email for business inquiries, thanks. <laughs> if you want to say something nice to me, I read all my comments anyway, so just leave it down here. And we can also set our SEO, which is basically search engine optimization, which is uh, if people Google you or Google things you talk about, like for example, me, streamer support, then I can set some description here and keywords here, which make it easier for Google to find my content and my website when people Google something like tree or Twitch tips or Twitch help. So that makes it a lot easier to, to rank in Google if you have these things filled in. So fill it in accurately with the things you do because you want only people that would love to see you to find you, right? But that, that's like super, that's super nice. I want to keep my ugly side for a bit because <laughs> I'm still trying to do some stuff with it, okay? Give me time. <laughs> Eventually I can be a good designer. Let's go back here and see what we can do more. Uh, 46 apps. So these are referring to the ones in Streamlabs uh, OBS. So right here, uh, we can go here, I believe. No, that's alert. Here, this one is it. <laughs> App Store. Uh, and like you see, we have pretzels here. Pretzels is something that you can play copyright free music with. So you won't be muted on YouTube or Twitch. You won't get in any trouble with your music, which is amazing. You can also get some designs, overlays. Monster Cat is also kind of similar to pretzels. They also have uh, copyright free music. Clip replay, so if somebody clips something, it will replay instantly in your stream and they will see it. And all these apps are only available for people that have Prime. Then we have Multistream, we're gonna get a whole dedicated video about Multistream explaining you how it works and how to set it up, so don't worry about that if you want to know how that works. I leave it up in the card if it's already out. If it's not out, uh, you have to wait. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel then, you will get it soon. But Multistream is something you can set up in your Streamlabs OBS as well. Also called slot. Maybe I will call it slot from now on, but you know, if I if I if I will say slop, you know that I mean Streamlabs OBS. So when we go live, we can actually click on Twitch, but also stream on YouTube at the same time with this feature. This is basically what multi-streaming means. We can also add more destinations. So if you are on DLive or something else like Facebook gaming, you can add them in here. And then the last thing we have, customized stream with pro teams. Okay, so we're going back to Streamlabs OBS. And then here we see teams. We click on that. And basically what teams are is a collection of overlays and panels and alerts and everything like that. So for example, we've got this Fall Guy team here. If we click on it, uh, we can also see a preview of how everything looks like. These are the panels. We've got the ending, the view at back, the starting stream screens here. Uh, this is the webcam, this is underneath the webcam, a transition is in there as well. We can see it in action when you're playing Fall Guys, obviously when you have the Fall Guys overlay. <laughs> you can see how it looks like. And you can get this all for free if you have Prime. There's a lot more of these themes, so let's go back. And for example here is Stark animated pack. You can see all these animations, you can see how this all looks like. Starting soon. 
and then you will see the transition and we'll see the webcam border we see the panels we see everything in the pack in here you can just get that inside your streamlabs obs instantly super easy to use and like you see there's a lot of them in here that you can just use for free if you have prime so now we're at the part where you have to figure out how much does it cost so it costs 12 dollars per month to have prime what do you get for it well basically everything we just talked about is all included in prime is it worth it I think it depends on what you want out of streaming and what you think is important. I think you need to think about the things I just told you that are included in Prime, like uh, having teams and having different kind of merch options. If that's something for you, definitely worth it. If you think like, mm, I don't really need that, I guess not. You can try out Streamlabs without it first and if you then figure out like, hey, um, actually, I might want some extra features anyway, you can still go for Prime. So you can always test out Streamlabs without having Prime, and then if you're like, oh yeah, this is something for me, you can always take Prime later on. In the future, we're gonna have more videos about Streamlabs Cloudball and just the Streamlabs website itself. For now, I would love to send you to this playlist about Streamlabs Chatbot. I'll see you there.